Meghan Markle's estranged father is still living a regular life in Mexico as preparations for the birth of the newest royal baby are stepped up, Daily Mail can reveal. Unlike his ex-wife, Doria Ragland, 62, who is expected to travel to London for the birth, Thomas Markle SR will not be there to meet his latest grandchild when he or she arrives. Instead, he will celebrate the arrival of his sixth grandchild alone at his modest home south of the border in Rosarito, Mexico. The 74-year-old was seen popping out for a takeout brunch but spent most of his time in his clifftop two-bedroom cottage in a quiet gated community. The retired lighting director was seen visiting La Cocina de la Abuela, an all-day breakfast restaurant which boasts the best chilies rellenos in town and where he bought a takeout meal. An onlooker told Daily Mail that he barely said a word during the visit to the restaurant, only speaking up to place his order. He didn't mention Megan at all, the onlooker told Daily Mail. It's hard to know if he is excited about the birth of his new grandchild or not. He just came in, ordered his food and left. He seems to have lost a bit of weight and looks healthier than he used to. In London, preparations are being stepped up for the arrival of Prince Harry and Meghan's first child, with the Duchess thought to be leaning towards a home birth at Frogmore Cottage in Windsor. A source with knowledge of the preparations told Daily Mail that Meghan, 37, will have a helicopter on standby in case she needs to get the private Portland Hospital in London at the first sign of any complication. The hospital has long been popular with famous mothers, with Victoria Beckham and the Duchess of York among the big names to give birth there. The source said, a natural birth is preferred but she will be in a facility with the best doctors there ready to perform a C-section if it becomes necessary to deliver the baby without complications. Although Mark Lessar may meet his new grandchild at a later date, with Meghan said to be preparing to offer an olive branch to her family after the birth, neither he nor any member of his side of the family clan are expected to travel to the UK for the arrival. With the exception of Doria, all of the Markles missed out on the royal wedding last May, with Mark Lessar pulling out at the last minute after suffering a heart attack. Mark Lessar was also at the center of a staged paparazzi photo scandal, after being caught faking pictures of himself being measured for a suit and toning up for the wedding. Despite the heart problem, he was seen driving up to Los Angeles the following week where he was spotted purchasing a McDonald's takeout and then a KFC meal in quick succession. He then had a second heart attack after the photo scandal and had to be admitted to a hospital in San Diego, California, for a stent operation. After being released from the medical center, he was seen purchasing a sugary Starbucks drink on his way home, accompanied by his friend Lori Davison, 39, and her 11-year-old daughter Jocelyn. Since then, the retired lighting director has spoken out repeatedly about his youngest daughter, begging her to get in touch with him and claiming he has been cut out of her life. He has also spoken of his anger at her husband Prince Harry and appears to blame the royal for his estrangement from his daughter. Then, in February, he revealed the contents of a private letter from Meghan in which she asked him to stop speaking to the media and revealed her anguish over his attacks on her husband. Although Mark Lessar has not had any further heart attacks, his frail health has resulted in his other daughter Samantha, 54, stepping up a media campaign to get Meghan to visit him. Son Thomas Jr., 52, has also repeatedly spoken out to beg Meghan and Harry to travel to Mexico to see Mark Lessar and claim their ongoing estrangement is making his health worse. In February, Samantha told Daily Mail that Meghan should have skipped her lavish $500,000 baby shower in New York in favor of a visit to Rosarito, a seaside town 20 miles south of Tijuana. Gang-plagued Tijuana was recently named the world's deadliest city thanks to an influx of migrants and a cartel turf war. She said, setting all personal things aside, I understand a baby shower is an exciting time, it's about getting with friends, getting things ready for the baby. But you are on this continent Megan and I would just really love to see her have contact with my dad while she's here. Life is very short and you never know when you're going to get that opportunity again so it would seem par for the course and I hope it happens. Although Doria will be with Meghan when she gives birth to her first child, 
the rest of the Markle clan are unlikely to have much contact with their new royal relation. Markle SR has spoken repeatedly of his wish to see his new grandchild, which will be his sixth, but is likely to have to travel to London to do so, a grueling 11-hour flight from San Diego. Still estranged from Meghan, he could later be brought into the fold, along with Samantha and Tom Jr., with an insider previously telling Daily Mail that the American-born royal intends to proffer an olive branch following the birth. The source told Daily Mail to Megan understands the pressures of intense media scrutiny and she is saddened by what her family have had to endure. She plans to extend an olive branch to the family and invite them to visit after the baby is born, her sister, Samantha Markle, included. Megan hopes and prays that the baby will bring her family back together.